Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to talk to you about the February 2022 beauty news. First up, I'm going to start off with beauty heroes and some of the news from them. So the February Discovery box featured Earthwise Beauty and the hero product was the Black Locust Firming Concentrate, which is a product that I already had um, been using and loved. So I was pretty excited to find out that it included a product that I love. And that's what that looks like. And it has like a very unique scent. I think it kind of smells like maple syrup, but there's all sorts of different descriptions. And then the other product is the Isadora Face Balm. And this was a new launch. So this was newly launched in the Beauty Heroes Discovery Box. Can't help but smell it. Um, definitely has a shea butter type smell. And some people say there's like a smoky quality. Um, it's a balm consistency. And I have been using it since the time that the box came. So at the beginning of February. And it's my nightly balm right now. So I just kind of worked it right into my skincare schedule. Um, I've been enjoying it a lot. I love both of the products so far. Um, and the balm has actually been growing on me even more um, at, since I've used it since the beginning of February and maybe reported on it in late February. So the value was $186. The um, Black Locust Firming Concentrate has sea buckthorn, lupine seed, Indian golden chimpaca, organic acai, green heartwood, and rhododendron. And it's supposed to help skin regain elasticity, firmness, and softness, diminishing rough patches and lessening fine lines. And the Isadora Balm is made of unrefined shea butter, moringa, baobab oil, kupuaku, which I never know if I say that correctly, carrot seeds, and prickly pear oil. It is meant to soothe, smooth, hydrate, and plump. And it has an earthy smolder of shea butter accented by light blooming aromas of pink champaca flower and rose for a remarkably light, smoky amber scent. I would love the ability to try to smell what a pink champaca flower smells like and also um, smell like what an amber scent smells like. I don't know off the top of my head. So it'd be kind of cool to see if I smelled those things separately, if I could identify them. Because to me, it just kind of smells like shea butter and that's about it i would love to like broaden my nose horizons <laughs> okay another a new product is maya chia's the advanced response complex rapid rapid regenerating firming face and neck moisture cream it is called the arc for short it brings a plant growth factor super firming antioxidant chibula a peptide complex fermented minerals, and a variety of skin-supporting amino acids to a concentrated cream. It's intended to be worn nightly, so a night cream. It is made from a post-consumer recycled jar, and it is 125 milliliters. I'm sorry, $125 for 50 milliliters. And actually, if you go on the Beauty Heroes website um, and look up the product, they have some before and after results, uh, uh, pictures, like pictures of results, and they're actually pretty interesting. So if you were to look this up, um, you might see some very interesting things. Next up is Graydon Moon Boost Serum, which for the weekend, the first weekend of February was for an introductory price for the weekend only for $69, which was a savings of $20 and also a 10 milliliter of the full moon serum as an extra gift. So the formulator is a chef turned skincare formulator, Graydon Moffat. And this moon boost serum is a combination of meadow foam seed oil, ahi flower seed oil, and linoleic and alpha linoleic acids, which is known as vitamin F from organic German safflower oil. It has vitamins A, B5, C, D, E, and K, and they're derived from superfoods goji berry, pumpkin seed, shiitake mushroom, carrot seed, res red, red raspberry seed, coffee leaf, and prickly pear seeds. It, is an, they, it has the oil soluble, soluble tetra C, which is added as a stable form of vitamin C, and it has a creamy citrus scent. Again, that is 
at a price of $89. The Love More promotion for Beauty Heroes for the month of February, which is when you spend over $125, was the Mukti Marigold Hydrating Cream. It's a dense, ultra-rich cream packed with calming herbs like calendula, calendula, which is marigold, chamomile, and cornflower. Also, vitamin C-rich kakadu plum seed oil and skin-strengthening go-to cola. For 30 milliliters, it has a $30 value. And for 100 milliliters or 3.5 ounces, it was a $56 cost. Um, a little bit like around February 11th, they had 20% off all their skincare tools. So probably around like the second um, weekend of February and around like Valentine's Day. So they had some tools like Lilla Fox Chill Wands, Jenny Patinkin and Leilani Cryo Glow Globes, the Yina Gua Sha Beyond Stone and the Jenny Patinkin's Blue Alchemy Rose. I guess it was a collaboration. Jenny Patinkin and Blue Alchemy Rose on Rose Petite Roller. So those were all 20% off. Um, something that was back in stock and has a limited number due to supply chain issues was the Innersense True Enlightenment Scalp Scrub. And if you've never seen it, that's what this looks like. Um, you can see I've used a decent amount of it. I have some decanted in my shower that I use it, you know, here and there. Um, but it's a really interesting product. It has, uh, it's like peppermint. It has like chunks of peppermint in it. And when you put it on your scalp, you know, it's a scalp scrub and it has the peppermint leaves like this icy hot, like cooling feeling on your scalp. It starts like cooling, it feels really good. So it's a pretty cool product. Um, I think I got mine like I don't even remember when. I think it was last January. So I think it was January, 2021. So I've had mine for a while, um, but it is back in stock, at least at the time in mid-February. And again, limited number due to supply chain issues. Cloud Cocoon Body Butter from She Plants Love, which I had never heard of. It is a whipped body butter and it features seven certified organic ingredients and it's $38 for three ounces. I had never heard of She Plants Love. Fit Glow came out with their Beauty C Ceramide Toning Mist, which is packed with natural herbs, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid. It's $38 for 120 milliliters, and it's meant to replenish, rehydrate, and restore skin. Again, right around Valentine's Day or two days after, they had an up to 50% sale at Beauty Heroes, which of course was tempting. And I did peruse it. And what I observed about it was it was mostly all the old items from the beauty box from I think like 2021. So I, I recognized almost all the products on it or most of them seemed to be comprised of um, the products from the previous beauty boxes. I did not purchase anything, but it was tempting. <laughs> um, Osea has there has come out with their Andaria body butter. So if you know, they have their Andaria body oil and now they have an Andaria body butter. It has Andaria DPHP, which is a skin firming amino acid, ceramides from oat kernels, and a skin identical carbohydrate complex that deeply nourishes dry skin lasting up to 72 hours when tested has a crisp unisex scent, and it's $48 for 6.7 ounces. One of you has told me that you are in love with this product, so it definitely sounds lovely. For President's Day weekend, they had a gift that for every order over $75, you would get a light wave, light wave enzyme cleansing balm from Arcana, and this was from a recent box, I think December maybe, I mean, November, December, Beauty Heroes, the end of 2021. And I thought it was interesting that they were giving it away for free. Um, well, not for free, but you know, for any purchase over $75. And it has a $55 value. This is what it looks like. You might remember it if you had watched my other Beauty Heroes videos in the past like six months. Um, as you can see, I haven't yet used a ton of it. I usually use my products that I get from the box for like the three or four weeks of that month that it came. And then I put it back into my collection usually and I'll rotate it back in when I've used other older products. So that's kind of my um, approach. But yeah, this was the, this was a President's Day gift with purchase and 
it's more or less unscented and I don't, I have to go back to it. Clearly it has a bright color. I'll have to um, use it more in the future and kind of, my first opinion wasn't like, I wasn't blown away by it, but um, I would definitely like to use it more consistently, consistently before I really give an opinion on it. And they also talked about the complete Juna collection, which is now available at Beauty Heroes. And these have full spectrum CBD blends. There's a nightcap for sleep, which is $48. Balance and Balance X, which are $42 and $98 respectfully, respectively, <laughs> however you say that. Um, Ease Drops, $68. Ease Body Oil, $48. And Detox Chlorophyll, which is a daily optimal detox for $26. They sent um, an email about a reminder of an OG Hero product from the company or the brand Lene, the Purify Face Wash, which I've never used anything from this brand. It's a cream cleanser with a loose, subtle lather, has French green and betonite clay to purify while simultaneously depositing vital, vital minerals that replenish and fortify. It has tea tree, lime, and cypress leaf Cypress, leave a lasting tingle for the freshest feel. $58 for four ounces. Um, towards the end of February, they had a free two-in-one resurfacing exfoliant from Mukti Organics, and that was a $64 value. I actually don't have written down here what you had to do to get that product for free. I'm imagining it was a cer certain purchase amount. If I can find the info, I'll put it down here. But anyways, this um, two-in-one resurfacing exfoliant from Mukti Organics employs caviar lime, desert lime, and rainforest lime native, which are AHA fruit acids to help loosen tired cells for your most effective manual exfoliation. And jojoba esters and finely ground bamboo particles gently slough away dead skin cells under your fingertips to reveal a fresh complexion. Fit Glow dropped their new foundation, which has vitamin C and antioxidants from bearberry, green tea, heart leaf, and amber, pair with bamboo juice, licorice, and grapeseed oil. It's supposed to be sheer and soft, and it comes in 18 shades, and it's $55 for 30 milliliters. And lastly, from Beauty Heroes, they had a story on Alima Pure and it just kind of talked about like their beginning, how they started in 2004 in an attic. And then now it is the first color cosmetic brand to become B Corp certified. It's plant, plant friendly. It was about how great they are, you know, how focused they are on helping the planet and stuff. And they're focused on refills, et cetera. I actually haven't used anything from Alima Pure, but I do hear um, some great things about their makeup. So now moving on to Credo. Uh, at the beginning of February, they had a Black Founded Beauty Kit, which comprised of eight products created by Black Founded Brands, and it was $75 for a $161 value. So they had um, Beneath Your Mask Detoxifying Body Scrub, and they had, that was I think one ounce, the Common Air 10% Vitamin C Serum, they had seven days worth of it. And just to show you, this is the full size Common Air vitamin C serum, which is 10% vitamin C. And basically you open it up and all the capsules are in here. And this is what one capsule looks like. And this is full of um, one, you know, serving for your face for vitamin C serum. The full size contains 60 capsules, but this size contained seven days worth. The brand 11, Perfect Form Lip Balm SPF 15 in Power Play, and that was full size. Eugenia Shea Dermatological Strength Shea Butter, two ounces. Clure Gentle Matter Cleanser, 60 milliliters. Naturally Drenched Rebalance Preconditioner Treatment, four ounces. Newell Hair Serum, 1.1 ounce, ounces. And Unsun Cosmetics Protect and Smooth Emollient Rich Hand Cream, SPF 15. That was 1.7 ounces. Of course, in February, as you'll see, there were a lot of these special purchases and gift with purchases, and they were all very tempting. I mean, they're just always tempting to me, but 
yeah, it's challenging <laughs> to not get them for me. Um, Westman Atelier came out with their um, lip suede lay nudes and they're back in stock and they are they have four shades with nourishing jojoba oil and volume boosting peptides and these are $85 and this one is like that one particular shades the nude shades that was back in stock $85 I think I said there was a flash gift from Credo at the beginning of February, which was Moon Juice Super Hair 10 Day Supply with any $125 plus purchase. And that gave you 40 capsules of that supplement. Jones Road sold out of the Miracle Bomb, the Face Pencil, the Lip and Cheek Stick. And I think that was saying that those things were back in stock. Um, a new brand, Youthphoria, which is supposed to be a skincare and makeup in one, which I feel like so many makeups are now skincare and makeup in one. So I didn't think that was too groundbreaking. Oh, that's really funny because right below it, it says groundbreaking formulas clean enough to sleep in and they use plant-based synthetics and they have three products. So the first one is called the BYO, bring your own blush. It's supposed to be a color changing blush oil that reacts to skin's natural pH to create a flattering flush unique to your complexion. And this has apparently gone viral on TikTok. And this blush oil is $36. A dewy gloss, which is a hydrating lip gloss that gives a glossy plump while nourishing lips without fossil fuels, which I also thought was a strange way of advertising something. <laughs> Um, $26 and it comes in five different colors. And then they had a blush brush for $18. So that brand didn't get me to intrigued based on what I saw of it. Um, they are having some clean beauty events again in person at the Credo stores in February. They were having like a Galentine's day beauty party, um, the day after Valentine's day. And beginning of March, they were having virtual, this was a virtual makeup masterclass with Bobby Brown. In store, March 3rd, they were having a Clean Beauty 101. March 16th, uh, which is still coming up, or might be the day I'm posting this, um, virtual skincare masterclass with Osea founder. And then they also have um, had a skincare with a skincare meeting or event with Evolve Organic Beauty Founder. Credo also had a gift with purchase. It was, if you spend over $125, you got this 10 piece gift with purchase, which also tempted me. It had the Ilia Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Tahiti, Westman Atelier Mascara, Skin Owl Lavender Drops, which I have gotten one of those before in a gift with purchase and I really liked. K.R. Weiss Highlighter in a Rose Quartz Shade, Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Exfoliating Peel Spray, Graydon Moon Boost, Gold Fat and MD Body Scrub, Fur Hair Oil for Sensitive Body Regions, Ursa Major Fantastic Face Wash, wash which I actually have. Um, I got this and a little thing from my husband with, for Christmas and I have not used it yet, but I will at some point. And the Inner Sense I Create Hold Styling Gel. So again, tempting, but I did not purchase. 27 Rosiers and a collaboration with Miss Fame made Extra Extraordinaire Skin Illuminator, which is a dip and glide illuminating cream, which comes in three different colors and is $32. Tower 28 came out with their lip gloss in a new semi-sheer milky nude pink shade, and it's $15 and it's called Pistachio. This is my Tower 28 lip gloss, and maybe you can tell that I'm doing quite well with it. I have it's in my project pan, my makeup project pan, so I have like that much left. Um, going very well, and it's funny. I I thought it was a really sticky formula, but now I'm like, you know what? I know it's supposed to be a lip gloss, and I kind of I don't know. I kind of like it. I think. I would consider someday in the future getting more of their lip glosses based on my experience with this one. This one's in the color coconut. I have it on on top of my other lipstick today. Um, Bybee has a facial oil which helps nourish and brighten and helps nourish and brighten and it is the first carbon negative skincare product. It's called the Glow Current Booster 
it's $10 for half an ounce or 15 milliliters. So when I read that, I'm like, what does carbon negative mean? So what it means is the carbon footprint is negative because it is made using low carbon ingredients and it sequesters carbon throughout its supply chain from cradle to gate. It does not rely on any carbon offsetting. So that's that. Tinted has their Super Hue Hyperpigmentation Serum Stick, which is a cooling balm to serum stick powered with niacinamide, bakuchiol, and vitamin C to help fade the signs of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. Now, it was out of stock, and when it's out of stock, I can't get the price information. Aether Beauty has a four-shade eyeshadow palette, matte and metallic rosy hues, infused with rose quartz crystals, and that is $20. Plume has a new size, gentle liquid serum to help enhance brow growth and eyelashes, and it's now in a mini. So the mini is $45 for 0.07 ounces, or the full size is $95 for 0.2 ounces. Alpine Beauty has their Bearberry and Vitamin C Glow Serum, Vitamin C Serum, and unfortunately that one was out of stock too, so I couldn't see the cost. Two different emails from Credo mentioned Kinship's Naked Apple uh, Daily Cleanser, which is rich in apple extract, but whenever I tried to click on the information, it said page not found, so maybe at some point some more information will come out on that. Wildling has an at-home facial kit for acne-prone skin. It's a four-piece set. It's called the Lumen Collection. It's $139, and it's a complete facial cupping system inspired by traditional Chinese medicine. Towards the end of February, Credo had a flash gift, a free full-size alpine wild nettle and niacinamide firming serum with any $125 plus purchase, and that is a $58 value and they're having some new featured services in some of the Credo stores, an Osea Mini Facial and a Jones Road makeup application. On to detox market. Audacite has their Le Bleu Balm, which is a repair balm. It's multi-purpose, floral scented. It contains squalane, omega rich oils, shea butter, calming blue chamomile, antioxidant rich turmeric, and reparative triterpenes. Triterpenes? I have to look that up. And then that is $48 for 1.69 ounces. The February Detox Box had, was called the Winter Skin Warriors and it featured Fit Glow Beauty. And it was $173 value. It had their Cloud Foam Cleanser, the Cloud Ceramide Balm, and the Night Lip Serum. So a phytoretinol vitamin A booster has come out from True Botanicals and the little catchphrase is a capsule a day keeps the wrinkles away. It is a highly concentrated botanical booster in perfectly dosed vegan capsules. Boosts skin with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals to restore a youthful glow. Perfect for mature, sensitive, and dry skin types. And it is formulated with plant oils rich in pro-vitamin A carotenoids. I can never say that. I don't know how you say it. Antioxidants that the body stores and converts to retinol to reveal radiant results. It has carrot seed, amaranth, baruti, coriander, sea buckthorn, and rosehip. And one thing I couldn't find out about these is if the little capsules are like biodegradable or anything, it didn't say it, so I'm guessing not. It just said they're vegan capsules. And it says, unlike synthetic retinol, this microbiome friendly formula can be used during the day alongside other products like vitamin C and exfoliators. So there's 60 capsules and it's $120. So each capsule is $2 per capsule. I have a little cat here, little tip. <laughs> Aria Perez has come out with cocoa crayons and their zero waste matte lippies. All natural, vegan, zero waste crayons in six colors. And they're multitaskers for lips, cheeks, and eyes. And some of their ingredients are coconut oil, baobab seed oil, and rice bran extract. And they are $26 each. 
I believe there's no plastic in them. So maybe as you use them and you get to the end, it's just the whole thing is thrown out. So there's no waste, no packaging, I'm not exactly sure. Um, so then Detox Market came out with their Radiance Bundle, which was spend $199 and get $244 in free beauty bundle. It included the Saha John Radiance Eye Cream, full size worth $48. Madame, Madame Gabriella lipstick in Sydney at 8 a.m. That was a full size, $35. Minori cream highlighter and champagne, full size, $32. True Botanicals Pure Radiance Sugar Scrub, full size, $38. Moon Juice Super U, which was full size, $49. And One Love Organics Botanical B Enzyme Cleansing Oil and Makeup Remover, full size, $42. So there was Temptations, I think two from Credo and one from Detox Market. And of course, just constant Temptations from all of them with their little flash gifts and their spend this and get this kind of stuff. Uh, this is a brand I haven't heard of really, Mount Lai. Their Brightening Berry Vitamin C Facial Oil, which is $80 for 30 milliliters. Brightens hyperpigmentation and dark spots on skin. Nourishes and hydrates the skin with absorbent, uh, absorbent oils, has stabilized vitamin C tetrahexyl decal, which is THC, but not the THC from marijuana, ascorbate, brightens and firm skin. Goji berries deliver nutrients to support firmness and elasticity in the skin. Elderberry fights free radical damage to combat appearance of fine lines. See buckthorn berry oil hydrates the skin and supports skin repair and rose hip oil, even skin tone and hyperpigmentation. Briogeo came out with their Don't Despair Repair Mega Strength Rice Water and Protein Treatment. It's for dry and damaged hair. It's five fluid ounces for $42. It's an intensive weekly hair treatment and it's basically a conditioner and you leave it in for five to 10 minutes or you could cover with a plastic cap and sit under a dryer for 30 minutes and then rinse. Okay, I don't know if this brand, I assume it's La Spa Naturals, but they have La Spa, all is one word, I don't know. So anyways, they have, I had never heard of them either. Tinted Matte Sunscreen, it comes in five different shades. It is a three-in-one lightweight mineral sunscreen and it's $35 for 50 grams. And that's everything. I actually thought I had more and then, boop, that was the end of it. <laughs> So that's everything. Um, went over Beauty Heroes, Credo, Detox Market, talked about new brands that came out, new products that came out. And I have to say, while I was preparing this, I'm like, there was so much constantly coming out in the skincare and makeup world, like in this clean beauty world. And it's a lot. I mean, they say this, the market is saturated and it is, it ha there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of things out there. Um, it's just, you would never be able to try it all. I don't know. It's probably a good thing that we have just one face because uh, there's just so many things. I mean, it can get exhausting if you're really trying to like keep up with it. I think, especially this year in 2022, I'm really learning um, how I am not keeping up with things um, by purchasing and all that. And it's not a bad thing. So I just wanted, anyways, just me rambling, but I am, um, Please leave me some comments, chat with me if you saw anything interesting in here or any interesting um, observations. And please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, found it helpful. And click the subscribe button if you'd like to be alerted for when my next videos come out. I'm gonna have my little friends say bye. And I'll see you soon. Bye, thank you for watching.